start. What the hell? Look, Hannah's just a friend, okay? She, she was over here studying, okay? So, just relax. Hey, look, I said she's just a friend. Son of a bitch. Go ahead, hit me. Give me like you did when you found me and your daughter in bed together. This like isn't what it looks feet. like. I spilled like, dude, something on my shirt and I Go. went into the bathroom to wash it off. Right. I came out here to ask him for something dry. There's nothing going on here. We're just friends. Please stop. Please, Mr. Manning. Nothing happened. Calm down. And what if I hadn't walked in? What then? I would have given her a t-shirt. You know, you may not respect my daughter. I have but I respect total her. respect for her. Mm. Put your clothes back on there, sweetheart. You know, he's playing you for a fool. Just like he does with my daughter. Oh, I would never do that. Because, you know, it's, it's, it's been drugs. And now, obviously, it's whores. Is that right? You are so off base, man. Tell you what, let's, let's call Star on the phone. Let's find out what Star thinks about this half-naked study buddy of yours. Go ahead, call her. Star knows Hannah. She knows that she's working here with me today. Oh, she knows about this little number here. Hey, get your hands off. Hey, hey, you touch her, get on the call the cops. I'm sure they'll be really interested in then hear what the local rapist has to say. Congratulations, sweetheart. Looks like you've got your man. <laughs> now you're totally losing it. Now, Star's gonna laugh you right off the phone. We'll see. Now, Star knows that I love her. And she knows that I've been bending over backwards to keep peace. Because if it were up to me, you would never see her or hope. She's my granddaughter. And this is my house. Now, get the hell out. Well, as long as we're being honest, I never wanted any of this. I never wanted you and Star to live together. I, I just, I couldn't figure out a way to break you guys up without losing her. And hope that once I do... It never happened. Do you want him? Because I can, I can rent you guys a room right now. Just let him call Star and break the news to him. For the, for the last time, Hannah is just a friend. Okay? I love Star, and Star loves me. We have a child together. So I would think twice before you go messing with that. Because you hurt me, Star will never forgive you. And see, that's where you're wrong. Star always forgives me. He's such a slow learner, Thornhurst. I mean, even, even what's your name over here gets it, don't you? Star knows that whatever I do for her, I do out of love. She may have forgiven you, but she'll never trust you. I mean, you think she's forgotten that you pushed her down the stairs? I mean, she almost lost her baby. Or what you did to my mom? Twice? No. She'll never get past that. And if you ever, ever go near my mom again, you'll lose Star for good. Do you know that if Star had to choose between you and me? But she already she, would... she already has. She chose me. I mean, look around, Manning. This is her home, with me. With me. You couldn't stop her from moving in. You couldn't stop Danny. They ran here to get away from you. Danny's a separate issue, cool. Yeah, because you didn't get to brainwash her from birth like you did with Star. <coughs> Danny sees you for what you are, and she's never gonna love you. But Star, Star is mine and always will be mine. And I'm gonna get her away from you. It's the last thing I ever do. Face it, you lost. And Star and I, we're happy. We have a daughter, a home together, a life together. And nothing, and no one will ever change that. Except me. And you know that. Because I've stopped you before. And by God, I'll do it again. Get the hell out of my house!
amazing that you guys are still together. You and Star. You must really love each other. <laughs> we do. Which is why sometimes it really gets to me. Hello. He's terrifying. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just kind of used to it. Are you okay? I'm fine. I just... What was I thinking? Coming out here with my shirt off, I... This is all my fault. No, no, that's just vintage Todd, all right? It has nothing to do with you. I set him off, and now you and Star have to deal with it. And You've been so nice to me. Hey, you okay? It's okay.